Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome back to another Call of Duty mobile video here today. And today we're going to be checking out the Season 7 new feature that they brought into the game, which is the practice range, which is basically the training mode. And within this mode, it's very similar to the one that you see within Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Where basically you can test out different weapons and, you know, shoot some targets and stuff. And you get around about 10 minutes in this area, so... Let's have a good little look around this area, shoot some targets, and just play around with various different weapons. So I just thought it would be something I could show you guys today. Because obviously I don't know if you guys knew about the training mode, or if you haven't already checked it out. And if you have checked it out, as like, has this little feature helped you improve your aim when you're playing the game and stuff? Let me know. Okay, so I'm just going to, you know, have a little bit of practice time, shooting some targets, and do my own little thing in this area. Right, we can also have a little look around as well, see what other stuff we can find. We've got some guns on here as well. Oh, okay, so we've got the Locust. Oh, so you can you basically use any of these weapons. This is cool. We've got the Outlaw. So these are like the default versions of them, which is cool. We've got the DLQ-33, Arctic-50. Let's have a look where else there is. Hang on. Shoot some targets. Arrow keep boys potato in. It's nice though, because you can obviously practice your skills in this area and just, you know, have a bit of chill out time. So instead of just like constantly having to destroy enemies if you wanted to prove your aim or get, you know, practice your aiming with a certain particular weapon maybe you're not that good with. No, I mean, you got the opportunity to, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, this is the chopper! The new chainsaw weapon. So this weapon right here, my friends, is the new LMG that they're implementing into Season 7. Which is basically the chainsaw from Call of Duty Ghost. So if you ever played Call of Duty Ghost and you remember, I used to use this weapon quite a lot within Extinction, personally. But in multiplayer, this weapon was pretty good. You know what I mean? It was a cool weapon. Um, but obviously, a lot of people, you know, back then, some people liked it, some people didn't, because it was one of the weapons where you couldn't really aim down sight. So it was basically, you could aim, but not properly down sight. It was more of a, a hit fire sort of aim weapon. But it was so good, it had a really good ammo count on it and stuff. and you know what I mean, it's good to see that you can actually use that weapon within game, you know what I mean? So, I like that. I'm 16, got the uh, AK-47 there, where else have we got? One sec. Shoot some targets first. But yeah, so I'm just spend a little bit of time in this area. See what else there is, because we never know, there could be some Easter eggs here, we never know. So it's always good to check these things. And plus, at the end of the day, it's a new feature that's in the game, and I felt like I needed to make a video on it for you guys. And plus, I thought, well, I get the excuse in a way to, you know, practice my aiming a little bit, because although my aim is okay within Call of Duty Mobile, you know I mean? I'm, you know, I, I fairly... I've got a fairly good aim. But Asita's... It's always good to... and improve on that, you know what I mean? Just try and make it better and better and better. But these are all the weapons. So basically, you can try all the main base weapons... Um, within the game, including like obviously the H uh, HVK and stuff like that, guys. So if you don't have them weapons, or for whatever reason, maybe you're new to the game and you want to just try the weapon out, then you got the opportunity to within this game mode. Um, but like I said, it's I like this feature. I think it's pretty cool. It'd be cool if there's like little challenging rewards you could do. So maybe like when you're in this area, you'll have a time limit to shoot a certain amount of targets, and maybe you can unlock a, a variant or something once a week or something, or. They could do an event within this game mode where, I don't know, if you can shoot 100 targets or something, you'll get a weapon variant, 200 tar or 150 targets, you get a character skin, you know, and stuff like that, you know what I mean? I think it would be pretty cool if you could do some challenges here for this. Because then I think it'll encourage people to work more better on their aim, and obviously feel rewarded for doing that, so... I think that's something that they could do, maybe implement in the future. But other than that, this is the uh, QQ9, we've got the chainsaw. I like this though. I can't wait for this to come in the game. So the, obviously at the time recording this video, the only weapon that we've got in the game at the moment is the QQ9, which is the newest weapon, obviously the, and the HBR A3. Um, Skull and Bones, which is a variant that you can get from right. But other than that, I can't wait for this drop because I'm going to go for some nukes with this bad boy. I'm going to be trying to rip shreds with this thing once I can get my hands on it. 
I've got a feeling it's probably going to come in introduced maybe as an event weapon or something. Or something like that. You know what I mean? I'm guessing through an event. Spray and spray. Loving it, boys. Loving it. So, what's your thoughts and opinions on the chopper? What do you like? Do you like it? Is it something you're going to be using? Imagine if they put this into Battle Royale. I think this weapon would be pretty OP, I'm not going to lie. Right. Uh, just trying to think, should we use another weapon? Something different? Uh, got the ICR there, let's go with that, the ICR 1. And also got a question for you guys as well. What weapons would you like to see be introduced into Call of Duty Mobile in the future? Have you got any particular favourite weapons from older Call of Duty titles um, that you really loved using that aren't in this game at the moment? Let me know. Snapping, baby. We can do this. That's terrible. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could shoot two targets at one go, but it is what it is, boys. Nice. Definitely trying to improve that aim, boys. Terrible. <laughs> Gotta keep trying. Try some 360s. Probably gonna do terrible at them, but you know. Nope. Come on, phase hour in the building right now. Let's do this. Phase Jeff and everyone would love this right now. You know what I mean? They'll be like, you go, Aaron. Come on, you can do this. This gun that I'm using right now, the Moonstone, which is Moonstone variant of the M4 LMG, I find is my really go-to gun at the moment. When it comes to leveling up within multiplayer and stuff, when I'm just having casual games, I find that gun is my go-to gun. It's just like, I just level up so quickly with it, and it, the gun just absolutely melts. You know what I mean? Absolutely shreds. This is just awesome. I can't I can't believe they put this in here. This is like a little something sneaky, you know what I mean? They've added this in into this mode. So people, just in case imagine if you never experienced this game mode, maybe you never went into the training. You would never probably never have known that you could use the chopper early, you know what I mean? Obviously you can't take it into a normal multiplayer match at the moment of time recording this video, but just imagine, you know what I mean? Being able to use this in multiplayer, just shredding people with it. Obviously, if you do want to use the chopper early, just have a little, you know, play around with it within the training area, then come into the training mode and give it a go, you know what I mean? See what your overall thoughts and opinions are on it. Nice. <laughs> I love this thing. I think this ga this gun is absolutely awesome. And obviously as well, you are on a time limit in this area as well, so you can't stay in here permanently, unfortunately. Um, you can only be in here for, I think it's about 10 minutes at the moment, so I've still got like 30 plus odd seconds left, so... Before, obviously, it brings this play session, you could say, to an end. But 
like I said, guys, it's 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 an awesome little thing to try out. Obviously, if you like I said, if you want to improve on your aim with certain weapons or something, or you just want to have a, you know, just a little play around, or just to use the chopper early, you know what I mean, if you wanted to use that, or the QQ9 if you haven't unlocked it on the battle pass yet, then you know this is an opportunity for you to try them weapons out to see if you, you know see if you like them or not. Um, but overall. I think this training mode is really awesome. I'm glad that the developers introduced it. I'm looking forward to seeing what other new things they introduce in the future. But that, my friends, is the training mode, the practice range. Let me know your overall thoughts and, opi and overall thoughts and opinions on what you think of this feature being introduced into Call of Duty Mobile Season Seven. Let me know down below in the comment section if you enjoyed today's video. Give it a, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe. I can't get my words out right now. Give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Turn on the post notification icon. It'll notify you when I upload any new content in the nearby future. So thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you again next time. Take care.